Okay, so uh, next I'm going to have a look at some straight line graph questions. Uh, these are kind of to do with log graphs. Um, really just for additional maths, doesn't appear on the IB syllabus. Um, the sorts of things you're going to look at, uh, well in particular, I've got this idea about perpendicular bisectors, probably won't really go through much of that one, but this, this idea here about converting to straight lines um, when, when you've got some sort of, uh, so for example, y equals a uh, x to the power b, and then kind of using the laws of logs. It's, it's this sort of idea here where we're plotting, in this case here it's ln y against ln x, um, and then using the equation of a straight line. Okay, so let's have a look. Uh, here's the first question. Uh, it gives us the variable x and y, um, gives us a couple of points, and it says that y equals a, b, x, and find the values of a and b. Okay, so probably the easiest way of doing this question is to basically rearrange this equation here, y equals a, b, x, to the power x, uh, using the laws of logs. So we basically, if I lun both sides, I get lun y equals lun a, b, x. Um, and then timesing, so I'm going to basically add, so it's going to become ln y equals ln a plus ln b x. Again, use the laws of logs so that the x can get brought down. So I get this ln y equals ln a plus x ln b. Um, now, what you might notice is that this looks a little bit like um, the equation of a straight line. Imagine the ln y is the thing that goes on the y-axis. The ln a is the constant, which therefore is going to be the y-intercept and x, I'll see that's going to be on the x-axis, and I've got ln b, which is basically the gradient. So kind of think of this like a kind of a modified straight line, and, and we will get a straight line if we, if we plot ln y on the y-axis, have ln a as the y-intercept, and ln b as the gradient. So now we've done that, we actually plot the points. We know that when x is 4, ln y equals 0 0.20, so there we go, I've plotted that point and when x is 12, ln y is 0 0.08. So again, I plot, I plot that point, um, and then uh, find what the gradient of this is. So if I'm going to do this value here, so 0 0.12 divided by 8, it's negative because it's sloping downwards. I remember that's what the gradient is, but I know that the gradient is equal to ln b, so therefore ln b is equal to minus 0 0.12 over 8. How do I solve that? Well, I remember that ln is log base e, so therefore if I do e to this thing here, I get b. So e to the power minus 0 0.12 over 8 gives me b, therefore b is, here we go, 0 0.985. Um, in order to find um, the other value, so there we go, so now that ln y equals ln a plus, and there we go, I worked out um, my value For this, remember ln b was minus 0.12 over 8, and that was this thing in front of the x. So there we go, that's minus 0.015x. Um, um, and then when x is 4, ln y is 2, that's the points I've got, so I'll stick those two points into my equation. So ln y, that's 0.2, x is 4. Um, if I rearrange that, I get, um, well, 0.2 plus this. And then I get that equal to ln a, as before, e to whatever this thing is, is equal to a, therefore I get a is 1.30. Okay, so that's the first part. Um, then it says find the value of y when x is 6. It's kind of important on this one. Um, you can get kind of, kind of reasonably straightforward follow-through marks, even if you hadn't been able to get the previous question. As long as you just wrote down some equation and used it, you should still get some follow-through marks. So here we go. Here, here's the equation that I've got now got. I know that a is 1.30, I know that ln b is this. So I basically just stick in the values. When x is 6, replace x with 6, put it into here. Again, I'm going to get ln y equals something. And as before, uh, e to this number here is equal to y, therefore y is 1.19. And then equally working backwards, when y is 1.1, put in 1.1 in here. So ln 1.1 equals ln 1.30. Again, take away this lot of x. Again, rearrange it. So ln 1.1, take away ln 1.30, divided by minus 0 0.015, and I should get x is 11.1. Uh, so there we go, so that's the first question. Um, let's have a look at another one. Same sort of idea. 
Uh, this time they, they say it's connected by the formula m equals m naught e to the minus kt. m naught is a constant, and basically that's going to be the initial amount of, uh, of uh, radioactive substance uh, when time is zero. So that's a, that's a constant, that's not a variable. Um, so the variables that we've got are t and m. So there we go, t and m are the variables. k and m0 are, are constants. Okay, so that's kind of important to check. Um, we're going to do the same sort of method as before. So they've given us what the equation is. I'm going to use the laws of logs to kind of rearrange that. So I'm going to learn both sides, learn m equals learn of all this. Um, and then therefore I can split it up again. That's going to be ln m0, ln e to the minus kt. Again, laws of logs. Um, and then now what happens, they've got a ln and e next to each other. They're inverse functions. Uh, they basically cancel each other out. So what's left is just the minus kt. So I end up this time with ln m equals ln m0 plus minus kt. Now this time, so it changes each time. So this time ln m is the, the thing on the y-axis. So it's going to be on the y-axis here. This time here, ln m0, remember that's just a number, so that's going to be the, the y-intercept. And this time, minus k is a thing in front of t, which is the variable. So minus k, therefore, is going to be the gradient for our graph. Okay, so then it gets kind of complicated. Um, so therefore, we actually then plot uh, these things here. So I, I'm going to basically plotting, um, I want to plot t on, on this axis here. I want to plot ln m on the y-axis here. So at the moment, I've got t and m. So I need to find out what, oh, I've already got t, but I need to find out what ln m is, because that's what I want to plot on my axis. So there we go. When t is 10, ln m is 3.7, because m is 40.2. So I do ln of 40.2, and that gives me 3.7. When t is 20, uh, m is 27, therefore ln of 27 is going to be 3.7 and so on. So, so they, I'm now plotting t against ln m. So when t is 10, ln m is 3.7. I plot that point. Now I plot the points. Okay, and then do the same as before. Um, I'm going to find the, the gradient. So I, I look at the distance up divided by the distance across. That gives me a gradient of 0.04. Um, obviously sloping downwards, so let's just add a negative in there, so it's going to be negative uh, gradient, and I also get the, the y-intercept is uh, 4.1 here, so I get the gradient, and then I get the y-intercept, uh, let's just correct that, so I get this thing here. Um, and then I look at this, and, and then what am I actually looking for? Well, minus k is equal to the gradient, but I've just said that the gradient is minus 0 0.04, so therefore minus 0 0.04 is equal to minus k, therefore 0 0.04 is equal to k. Okay, so the gradient was minus k, the gradient is minus 0 0.04, therefore k is 0 0.04. Okay, and then uh, for the y-intercept, well, I know that the y-intercept, if I look at this thing here, is given by ln m0. So I look at my y-intercept here, which is uh, 4.1. So therefore, 4.1 is equal to ln m0. Therefore, e to the power 4.1 is m0. Therefore, m0 is 60.3. Okay, right, let's have a look at another one. Uh, here we go. Um, Firstly, we've got uh, ln y plotted against 1 over x. Okay, so let's do exactly the same as before. Um, we, we, we're told what the equation is supposed to look like, y equals a e to the b over x. So I'm going to do the same method as in the previous one. So there we go, y equals a b over x. And let's scroll down. And we get all to this thing here. So let's see. So my, my, that's my starting point. Same as before. So I'm kind of working back from what I know it's going to be. Lun both sides. So I'm going to get lun y equals lun a e to the b over x. 
therefore split up using the laws of log. So I get ln y equals ln a plus ln e b over x. And then again, ln and e inverse functions, they cancel out. Um, so I'm just going to get b over x, which I've rewritten as b times 1 over x. And I've got ln a and ln y. So this time, that's why it's confusing, um, I've got ln y on my y axis. So it was this one here. And this time, I've got 1 over x on what used to be the x-axis. And therefore, uh, the gradient is b, and the y-intercept is uh, ln a. So here we go. So uh, I've now got my points. I join up the triangle. So again, I get a, a distance up of 2, distance across is 2.5. Um, so therefore, the gradient is minus... 2 over 2.5 and therefore that tells me the gradient which is b so therefore I've, I've done that one so b is minus 0 0.8 and then if I do the other bit I know that the y intercept so I extend this line up I get y intercept to 4.7 but this time I know that ln a is 4.7 therefore e to the power 4.7 is a so therefore a is uh, 110 Okay, and then once you've done that bit, uh, again, this is easier marks. So this time, I basically substitute in those values. I now know that um, A is 110, and I know that B is minus 0 0.8. So I basically stick that into my formula, and then substitute in X is 0 0.32, put it into there, stick it on my calculator, uh, I get Y equals 9. And then equally, when Y is 20, uh, again, same sort of idea, I get 20 equals this, divide both sides by 110, ln both sides, uh, then the e is going to disappear, so I get ln of this equals to minus 0 0.8 over x, and then if I rearrange that, I should get x is 0 0.47, uh, really I should have three significant figures, um, so yeah, so try to be a bit, little bit more accurate on those questions. Okay, right, I think it's going to be the last one. Right, here we go. So this time we've got, um, uh, we're told to actually draw um, y over x against x. So y over x is going to be on uh, our y-axis and x is going to be on the x-axis. So at the moment they've told us what x and y are. So we actually need to work out what y over x is. So for example, when x is 50, uh, y over x, I'll do 3,700 divided by 50. It's going to give me whatever this was, 74 or something. Obviously, you're going to have graph paper to do this. Um, next one, when x is 100, y over x would be 11,000 divided by 100. And then I plot that, which would be 110. So those that, that gives me the points. Um, and then I'm going to uh, like extend my graph backwards to find out uh, what the y-intercept is, which is going to be 40. And I know that the gradient is, well, this is 36 over 50, which is 0.72. So I'm going to rewrite it like that. So basically I'm saying that this is the thing on my y-axis, which is y over x. This is uh, the gradient. This is the thing on my x-axis, which is x. This is my y-intercept, which is 40. So there we go. So that is uh, the information from my graph. And then to try and make it look uh, like, a, I guess, a normal sort of uh, equation, um, I can actually then multiply everything by um, x, so therefore I'll get y equals 0.72x squared um, plus uh, 40x. Uh, okay, right, I think that will do. I think there's a little bit more I had to do on that question, but that, I think that was the um, that's the first part of the question um, that you need to do. Okay.